This is Joe Vec. Vic with the CME Group here in Chicago. The corn market traded both sides of unchanged here on Thursday. We've been generally stronger as of late. The value of the U.S. dollar has declined into some multi-year lows, and that's something that has helped a lot of the commodity markets to rally. We've seen it in the grain markets. We've seen it more so in the energies and uh, in the metals. But uh, the U.S. dollar, a weak dollar, seen as being generally friendly to commodity markets. Farmers here in the U.S. are generally uh, thought to be large holders of the 2017 corn crop. They're generally undersold. So when we see these rally attempts, we're going to see the U.S. farmer come in and cap those rally attempts to some extent with selling. There's a lot of catch-up selling that needs to be done. Farmers need to sell cash corn in order to generate cash uh, to, to plant a crop this spring. So I think that farmer selling will be a force uh, within this marketplace for months and months to come, really in, until you get into the later part of summer and fall and you start talking about 2018 harvest. Uh, funds maintain a very hefty sh net short position in this corn market. We've seen a little bit of short covering, but the estimate as of uh, yesterday's close was still that funds were net short more than 200,000 contracts, which is a very large short position historically. So the funds not totally shaken by this weak U.S. dollar just yet. Again, Joe Vec, Vic from CME Group here in Chicago.